a very good evening to everyone now we will study about molar start which is chemistry topic atomic structure so now we will study the filling order of atomic orbitals okay i will tell you how easily and simply you can remember with simplest tips and tricks okay so first you have to write 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 and 8 so you have to write 1 to 8 so 1 to 8 as we have spdf right it means we have four different orbitals as P T F. So so now here take L equal to zero, L equal to one, L equal to two, and L equal to three. And at the left hand, N equal to one, same up to eight. N equal to two, N equal to three, N equal to four, N equal to five, N equal to six, N equal to seven, and N equal to eight. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, right? So now we have four orbitals. So first you have to take first orbital that is S. Right here S. Which is nothing but one S, two S, three S, four S, five S, six S, seven S, eight S, right? So now leave this here. Leave this and write from two. 2p, 3p, which means the second orbit p. 2p, 3p, 4p, 5p, 6p, 7p. So leave this first and last or numbers. Now the star third one is d orbit, right? Here also leave this second. I mean this 2p as well as 7p. Now write from 3p. So 3d. 4d, 5d, 6d. Now again leave this 3d as well as 6d, 6d, which means you should not write 3 and 6 again. So here write 4f, 4f, 5f. So this is the molar chart, which means 1s, 2s, 3s, 4s, 5s, 6s, 7s, 8s, right? So, what is the simple trick? Is, is you have to leave the front and the bottom, and you have to write the other numbers. So you will get four F and five F at the last. Okay. So now we will draw the directions. The arrow marks come from top of one S, and it goes back, and it comes to two S. Draw circles. It's very better to draw circles so that you can't get any disturbance, right? You can't get any confusion also. So now again, this arrow should goes from the middle of this numbers, and it have to interact with two p and three s. Same in the middle, it has go. It has to go up, and then it has to come back to s. Three p. Then four s same from middle you have to take this arrow and then it has to come here same from middle to four d five p six s so you can see right how I have drawn this you can see clearly right. So what it is exactly means it comes from up one s, so it goes from the middle. So again it comes to two p and two s. So from the middle and it joins the other. So this is the arrow marks from where this energies will flow, which means how it will goes from top to bottom. From this diagram you can see how. It increasing the value of n plus 
one right ascending order of energies now you have to write ascending orders so first what we have one is one is ascending means lower right so it is lower in so next what we have one is two two s two p three s next three p four s next three d four p five s four d five p six s right so this you have to write here one s two s 2s 2p 3s 4s 3d 4p 5s 4d 5p 6s 4f 5d 6p 7s 5f 6d and 7p 8s is the last right so one is two is two p three is three p four is three d four p five is four d five p six is four f five d six p seven is five f sixty seven p eight is so this is the order this is the ascending order. So from this you can get how you can you have to write electronic configuration one s two two s two two p six so you can write electronic configuration from this molar chart.